Hello again, uh, a new day, a new improvement. It's not a fix, but an improvement. You see, I bought this uh, Xenix 802 from Behringer. I found this secondhand. You know, it was so cheap, so I couldn't resist. The single problem was no power supply. You know, this particular mixer and many more from Behringer and Phonic and many other labels, let's call it. They are using AC power supply, delivering two times 17, 18 volts AC. It's a differential uh, power supply. Well, it was no problem for me to have a transformer ready for this. You know, it's very easy to remake a secondary for uh, having these two times uh, AC voltages, but something I don't like. Okay, so Behringer is using for uh, the power supply plug, a kind of uh, connection like this. This is a mini DIN or something like that anyway, three pins. The problem with these guys is that uh, fragile and there is no locking system you are effectively risk to tap on the cable and to smash the power plug from inside here. You see, that's the input here. I really don't like it. And uh, you don't want to have this connected or disconnected if the power amplifiers on, because it's going to be a huge boom into the loudspeakers. And that's also very dangerous to the audio system to the loudspeakers, to the power amplifiers and everything else related to the audio line. I found to one of uh, electronic shops in town, a connector like that, three pins. And we have a very secure connection here. Now, let me see if my theory it's okay, because this probably fits in here. Oh yes, I'm afraid I have to take that plastic out, but that doesn't really bother me. So what we're going to do today is to open the mixer, take out the main board and to see if we can fit that uh, plug in there. First of all, we have to take out all these nuts. Well, all of this should be taken out. Be careful with the washers here. Yeah, we have one more right here. It's nice to have a magnet around and you can easily not only check for debris and clean the debris, but also take these guys out. Okay, next step, uh, Philips number one. And um, let's take out all these screws. Well, this little uh, mixer, by the way, is very useful. You know, you can't call it a uh, big league uh, mixer but for home use for small gigs if you don't need any vocal effects extra effects or something because this is just a simple board doesn't have uh, any effects but have a really good equalizer with mediums pointed at 2.5 kilohertz centered at 2.5 kilohertz with a British kind of equalizers or equalization. Okay, all the screws are out. Now, of course, we take this plastic caps up. And here you have to be careful because there are two kinds of screws. We have this kind of screw with a smaller uh, stepping. Uh, you see, that's for the metal parts up and down. And, and two like this. We have a big step, you see, it's a difference here. Uh, we call that holds screw. So we have to take this to the sides. And there we go. Of course, here we have the connectors. And uh, these two guys, I believe this is ground. Yes, this is the middle. Let me have a schematic, very easy. Okay, so here we have the mains and that's the primary of the transformer. And here we have a double coil. This goes to ground. And here we have a 17 volts AC. And uh, of course, 
let's say this is the power supply input ac ground okay and the other ac and this goes probably to a bridge rectifier of sort and the uh, ac here ac here and here of course we, we're gonna have minus and the other side we're gonna have plus and this is called a plus and minus probably 15 volts i'm not sure but probably it's 15 volts 12 to 15 volts dc of course okay so what we have to do now is to replace this connector here so far i can see this is a ground this is another ground they are together ac1 ac2 and the, these two are for proper mechanical connector we need to take that out because i'm pretty sure there is no space behind for the new connector and of course we have to take that plastic thingy out and it's out everything is clean now the moment of true does this guy fits in here if not i'm lost yes it fits but it's way too small ah uh, what can i do yeah it's impossible it's it's way too hot it's really summer here well i couldn't find any washers so i have to build mine with proper tools and a little bit of patience let's see which is looking better i think this one should be outside and the other one in here with yeah that's perfectly fine but before anything else let me have some wires connected so i can have some of this you know when you are uh, soldering these kind of things it's always better to have as much as heat dissipation uh, surface because uh, you are risking to melt the the plastic here and we have to move real fast because these guys usually are made with cheap materials and they are melting very easy okay flux like always so all we have to know that white will be the ground very important that's it nice and shiny very nice okay next step is to take the original out and for that i will refresh the solderings here with some uh, new solder wire I know the one I'm using is leaded. I mean, it's using a little bit of lead. And it's melting around 275 or something, so it can be easily taken away. I'll use the pump. perfect and it should go out of course it is perfect no harm anything this is really nice and now we have to prepare this guy let's prime the wires get them ready to be soldered okay Let me have the connector in place. Mm -hmm. You see those little debris left on the washers. They are absolutely okay because they're going to get stuck into the metal case and will help for better positioning and implementation, I may call it. Uh -huh. What do you think? It's looking great. 
damn solid and yes it is absolutely okay so I said this is the ground I can have I can have it here beautiful and then one of the AC right here perfect and the other guy there we are you see I don't mind cleaning because anyway this kind of flux I'm using it's the best isolator and antioxide and look there it's a perfect it's a perfect fit doesn't touch anything the connection is in the air and we are good to have a first try uh, well to do that I need to have this in place with a couple of these guys something like this that should be enough and maybe and a little screw down here okay we'll have the rest of the screws and everything else a little bit later for now let me prepare the wire three line wire because like I said we have the ground and two AC outputs here I got like three meters here is it long I don't think so so this is a shielded cable and I'll use the shield for the ground connection it's very very strong we have cotton in here so you can tap on it and there is no harm but I have another question what is that I'm afraid this is too thin here for this screws to have a proper uh, no, pressure so uh, I have to improvise something here all right very important to have the right tools and maybe another one That should be fine. Do not forget to have this on the wire. You see, problem now is that I don't have anything. Oh yeah, I can use my extra connector here for helping with the heat dissipation. And once again, extra seconds for having this soldering. Like I said before, this is a very thin plastic and it's not good to apply a lot of heat on these connectors okay the, the wires are okay now this should be ground and okay factory made yeah it's looking industrial <laughs> now let's have the rest of the case in place perfect grip perfect look all right let me make changes to the other side this will be connected into the transformer and release the old wires we can give a try measuring the continuity in fact the mixer oh i love this now it's solid I don't care, I don't mind, it's not going out, only if you smash it. Continuity mode, multimeter, ground, okay, here we are, ground, perfect. And the other two guys, red, one there, one here, perfect, and nothing in between, good to go. Now, let's change this piece of wire from the inside here. You see, like I told you, that's not the original transformer. I'll show you right now what I have done. I put some holes in this plastic case. The transformer is getting pretty hot. You see, to have a new secondary, it was pretty easy. And uh, I rewind it for two times, uh, 17 volts. And this is varnish. 
you can see it already and uh, that helps for uh, keeping uh, moisture not, uh, not only it's also dumping the uh, hum you know the noise from the electric field electromagnetic field in fact there we go for you know the transformer has a thermic fuse in there just in case and that's the second voltage yep back in the case here is the gap for the output oh, pretty okay i'm not satisfied with that but as soon as i found some proper rubber stuff like that i'll replace it okay let's check for the voltages before anything else main power ac and that should be the ground 18.4 18.4 we are good very good in fact so nothing to do but to power on the mixer okay ready and voila the mixer it's working i have my microphone here phantom on and we should see some activity of course look there hey hey yeah hey 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 everything is fine nothing to do but to put everything back in case all the screws back on and we are done beautiful adaptation beautiful connector here of course needs some repositioning here something like that but it will be much better and much more secure than uh, than before thank you for now i hope it's useful if you consider please uh, don't forget to subscribe i'm waiting your comments your questions and uh, of course like like always be creative and most important thing have fun bye bye